Next one is one of the output device that is monitors. So before knowing about the monitors, it is also a type of an output device and its classification are based upon CRT and flat screens. So what is the difference between CRT and flat screen means CRT acronym is cathode ray tube. CRT acronym is cathode ray tube. Next type is liquid crystal display. So liquid crystal display is considered as a flat panel flat panel monitor. The factors for considering the display of a monitor. So everyone knows that based upon the cost as well based upon the size and based upon the resolution we always purchase the desktops or else a computers that everyone knows right. So whenever you are purchasing any kind of electronic device you should be flexible with the monitor. So what factors determines the characteristics of a monitors means there are three factors that determines the characteristics of a monitors. So first one is dot pitch, refresh rate and resolution. We will see what exactly is dot pitch and what exactly is refresh rate and then resolution. So if you observe the monitor, so in a general way when you observe the monitor, if someone comes and asks you what is the size of your monitor, so how to measure the size of a monitor means, first thing you have to keep it in mind is, you can measure the size of your monitor, diagonally you can you can measure the size of the monitor diagonally. That means whenever you are measuring the size of your monitor, the diagonal, diagonal inches will be considered as a size of a monitors. So that is the first basic point. Next one, in order to know the quality monitor, we already said that we need to consider three characteristics, right? First one is dot pitch, refresh rate and resolution we are saying. We will see one by one what is the meaning of a dot pitch. So dot pitch is nothing but each and every image each and every image that is displayed on the monitor is measured, displayed on the monitor is measured by the combination of the colors or by the combination of these dots, right. So dot pitch is nothing but the distance between one dot to another dot will be called as a dot pitch. So what exactly is this dots means? So the combination of this red color, green color and purple color will form a small image, nothing but a pixel. So these dots are called as a pixel. Each dot will be considered as a pixel we are saying. So what is dot pitch? The distance that is present between one pixel to another pixel will be called as a dot pitch we are saying. Next one is refresh rate. What is meant by refresh rate means the moment it will refresh all the dot at once. That means once it will blink and then it will off. That means it will start refreshing itself. All these dots will start refreshing itself. So that is called as a refresh rate. So next one is resolution. What is the meaning of a resolution means? When we will say the monitor is having a good resolution means you are having a pixel and you measured the dot pitch between this pixel you have measured. The smaller, the smaller, the distance between the dots will increases the resolution of a picture. Nothing but increases the quality of an image we are seeing. So three things on a brief, first one is dot pitch. Whenever you are talking about the dot pitch, it measures the distance. Refresh rate means nothing but refreshing all these dots. Refreshing means refreshing all these dots. Next one is resolution is resolution means Next one, resolution is nothing but 
the lesser the distance between these two dots will be considered as a resolution. Next one is frame. Nothing but what is the meaning of a frame means? When we want to have a display of one picture, all the pixels, all the pixels, nothing but combination of dots should be scanned either from left side to right side or else from top to bottom we are saying. Whenever we are scanning the dots from left side to right side, one complete scan will be called as an frame. So, the types of a monitor, the resolution can be determined by the distance between the pixel. That is what we are saying. Here if you observe the image, here the distance is more. If you observe that image, the distance between one dot to another dot is less. That means, uh, can you able to identify which one will have higher resolution? Obviously, the lesser the distance, the higher the resolution will be. Next one, if you want to know the sizes of your monitor, whenever you are purchasing the monitor, you need to consider this particular factors into consideration. Monitor size and viewable area. Monitor size and viewable area. So, what is the monitor size means? Monitor size means you are measuring the size of a monitor with the help of the diagonal you are measuring. If you observe the difference between red color line and green color line means in case of red color line we are saying it as an we are saying it as an monitor size because you are taking the size of the frame also. But in case of a viewable screen size, you are only measuring the screen. Nothing but you are leaving the part or else you are leaving the screen of a monitor, right? So, whenever you are purchasing the monitor, you should ask the manufacturer or you should ask the vendor to say that what is the monitor size and what is viewable area or you yourself can measure it. Next one is cathode ray tube and liquid crystal display will be called as an types of an monitors. So, this two differences is if you observe cathode ray tube, uh, I think so in your home you will be having Onida TVs, right? So, Onida TVs will have a some conical kind of conical kind of backside, right? But in case of a liquid crystal display, you will be having a flat screen. So, what makes the difference is cathode ray tube is not at all portable, nothing but we cannot move the monitors from one place to another place. So, LCD says it is very much portable in nature. So, the only task which I am going to give you today is you got to know about what is dot pitch, refresh rate, resolution and types of monitors, right? So, consider the list of liquid crystal display and consider the list of cathode ray tube. So, take two to examples of each and write down the monitor size as well viewable area for each one that is the task given to you. Next one, next type of device is printer. As you all know that printer is an day to day essential in human life because nowadays whatever we are working inside the computer, if you want to store it for other purpose or if you want to store it for your future. So, you will take the printout of your work done, right? Nothing but your textbooks will be called as a hard copy, right? So, there are so many types of printers. So, printers are classified based upon their functionality as well based upon their characteristics. So, it is a basic thing of how the output device will work on. So, 
if you consider the printers if you consider the printers the printers are always classified into impact printer and non impact printer it is classified the one thing you which you have to keep it in mind means in case of impact printer whenever it is printing it will leave impression on the paper whenever you are printing it will leave impression on the paper first point so for non impact printer it doesn't leave any impression on the paper that means it does not leave any kind of marks on the paper so what is impression and what is non impression in fact so impact printer means if you consider your wedding cards or if you consider any of the official cards right so their letters will be written whenever you are touching the letters obviously you can feel the presence of the letters right that means the printed letter can be feel or the printed letter can be touched by the impact printers we are saying non impact printer means normally if you consider your textbook when you flip over your textbook in your textbook all the text written will be like normal page only with a normal page surface only it will be so we will see much in detail about types of impact printer and non impact printer first type of impact printer is daisy wheel printer so what is the meaning of this daisy wheel printer means in case of daisy wheel printer it is an impact printer so uh, i think so you might have known that stenography everyone might have known that or typewriting few people they used to go to the typing classes right in order to be familiar with the board itself so this daisy wheel printer working is nothing but first principle it will always leaves the impression on the paper second one is can you able to see the wheel here so in this wheel if you observe each and every alphabet each and every alphabet as well special symbols special symbols are nothing but stars or ashes or something like uh, characters <coughs> or numbers will be called as an special symbols right so here i am having a wheel and for each and every wheel i am having a pins so for each pin at the edge you will be having a you will be having an embossed letter for example i am writing hello i need hello to be printed on the paper so how this daisy wheel printer will start working means whenever this wheel rotates this wheel consists of petals right petals is nothing but a pin sort of it consists of so for each pin there is an attached alphabet at the edge of the pin as well it is having the special symbols nothing but your braces or commas full stop or something like that symbols will be written so the combination of alphabets and special symbols are present on the wheel so whenever you want to write hello world on the paper how it will start working means it will start working like this wheel will be present to you and it will start writing the letters from left side to right side that is how it will print the particular sentence or particular word that means one complete rotation one complete rotation will form only h next one after another complete rotation it will form e then l then l then o that means for one particular cycle it will form only one letter on the paper that is also considered as an drawback in this printer because it takes plenty of time whenever you have to print a large amount of text the another drawback of this daisy wheel printer is it will print only the text type of data text type of data for example i want to take a print out on that print out i need to have this image so we cannot print the graphical 
print or we cannot print any kind of image sort of on the paper with the help of this Dicevil printer. So these are the advantages and disadvantages of Dicevil printer. As you already know that it is more noisy because the wheel has to rotate and each letter will take one complete rotation that is one drawback as well the printing speed will be obviously low next one limited color it doesn't have any kind of coloring font it will only prefer or it will only suitable for having a black color text on the paper next one it is only suitable for normal text but not for images next one is dot matrix printer so in case of dot matrix printer it overcomes the drawback of the daisy wheel printer the drawback of the daisy wheel printer is it doesn't print out the graphical output nothing but coloring font it won't print right so in case of dot matrix printer it will print both text as well graphics that means it will print hello as well it will print the image or else it will print only the colors to this font we are seeing so what is the functionality of this dot matrix printer means in case of dot matrix printer similarly like wheels here you will be having number of pins you will be having so if you observe this particular image in this image you will be having one particular rod and you are having one black carbon and at the back side you are having the paper right so whenever it is rotating this carbon will strike the pin to the particular paper and it fo will form the output on the paper so here i am not using rotation or here i am not using a complete cycle or complete wheel to form one letter so whenever it is printing it will start printing the text from left side to right side like hello hello marlin i have to print right so whenever it starts rotating it will go on printing the text from hello marlin at once so that is the advantage when compared to the daisy wheel printer so this is how your output will be formed so if you observe this dot matrix printer you can able to see this dot matrix printer whenever you are checking out the bills at the hospitals or else whenever you are paying the fee and getting the um, receipt for the fee paid because here the letters will be formed like the output will be for example hello so instead of h it will form it into the dots it will form that is how your output will be so the drawbacks here also is limited color limited color printing means here it won't form images but it will only form the text uh, color to the text it will only form next one is inkjet printer so in case of inkjet printer it is called as an non impact printer which prints text as well images so one thing you have to remember is in case of impact printer it will leave impression on the paper it is not suitable for printing the images but it, it is suitable for both images as well as a text we are saying so how the working of an non impact printer means a tiny droplets of liquid ink will be sprayed on the paper so that is how the working of inkjet printer if you observe here here you are having some colors you are having so for each and every cartridge or for each and every cartridge cartridge is nothing but this box kind of will be considered as an cartridge and each cartridge will be filled with an ink right so how the image or how the text will be printed on the paper means when this 
ink together is sprayed on the paper then it will form an image or it will form an letter for example you are saying same example hello you have to form right so a minute ink a minute ink should be formed in the form of h it should be formed but it should not be sprinkled all over the paper so that kind of instructions will be given by the printer itself so here two very very advantages of non impact printer that is inkjet printer is here it will form text as well it will form images it will form next one is ink or else different colors will be sprinkled on the paper but only in the user required format if i need hello to be printed that hello should be formed so how that hello should be formed means based upon the instruction of a computer only it will form that shape so this is the working of an inkjet printer have a glance on the working of an inkjet printer so first step here you are having an resistor you are having next one you are having the bubbles or nozzles see the only thing i will say you are having the cartridge in that cartridge you are having the ink so that ink should be sprinkled on the paper until and unless that ink present inside the cartridge is not heated or else not melted you cannot leak out the ink onto the paper right for that in the second step i am giving the electricity current so i am giving the current and then in third step instead of falling the complete ink on the paper it will just sprinkle the ink with the help of the nozzles so with the help of the nozzles means at the bottom you will be having some dots kind of or some small holes kind of so that is the medium how your ink will come out of the cartridge so at the last step your desired output will be displayed on the paper so four steps you have to keep it in mind in case of inkjet printer so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the inkjet printer so disadvantages if you consider it is less durable why we are saying it is less durable because it is having the functionality of working only with the cartridges until and unless we fill the colors into the cartridge that inkjet printer doesn't work right so that is the reason we are saying it as less durable if the cartridge doesn't works obviously the complete working of an inkjet printer will stop working next one is it is not good for handling volume printing duties so what does this means that means for bulk printing this kind of printers are not suitable or not apt next one is printing is not as fast as others so for this one i can say that if you give the print out for normal black and white print out and color print out so black and white print out or xerox will come within a few seconds but when it comes to the color print out it takes plenty of time right so that is the reason it is not suitable when you want to print 100 images or 100 uh, particular files next one is laser print out so laser print out is also an impact printer sorry non impact printer why it is called as a non impact printer means here i am not using any impression or i am not using any kind of pins or inks here i am using only the laser light because when you are placing if you observe the xerox shops so the xerox person will take the paper and keep it on the xerox machine so the laser will flip from left side to right side and right side to left side so here the laser printer will work based upon the movement of the laser we are seeing so here the printing resolution will be 600 dpi to 1200 dpi what is this 
DPI means dots per inch. Dots per inch. So here with the help of laser printer comparatively to the non-impact printer like inkjet printer it is it will produce more number of papers within a fraction of seconds. So this is how exactly the laser printer functionality or inside it will have, have a glance on it. So the drawbacks of the laser printer is it is more expensive than inkjet printer as well are less capable of printing images with high vividness we are saying we cannot print more number of images it is more suitable for text kind of thing next one is all in one printer so this is the last printer which we are going to see all in one printer means if you observe a printer which will be having scanner scanner means to scan your document as well to take your printout so to take the xerox of your particular paper so all the three things will be embedded in one printer that is called as an all in one printer it is also called as multifunctional printer it is also called as multifunctional printer so this printer can consist of scanners copier and fax mostly this kind of printers you will see when you join in the universities or when you go to some banks or something for daily office uses we will use such kind of printers so these are the merits and demerits of the all-in-one printer so one thing i have to tell you whenever you are talking about the printers it is an output device you have to know whether it is an impact printer or non-impact printer mostly you should be prefer you should prefer non-impact printers because its speed its resolution and its capability is more when compared to the impact printer so these are the question which you have to note down whenever you are buying some printer so have a glance on it and just try to answer this question based upon the which quality or which type of printer you want and what and all you have learned when you yourself ask these questions then only you go for buying or you go for purchasing the printers next quiz is types of monitors note down you have to explain the types of monitors what and all types of monitors you are having so once again i am repeating my question you have to know types of monitors as well for each type for example crt is there for crt how many monitors how many types are there or first type and second type you consider for this first and second type of monitor you have to write down monitor size versus viewable area viewable area monitor size versus viewable area for cathode ray tube as well similarly the same monitor versus viewable area for lcds as well for both crt and lcd write down what is monitor size and what is viewable area next question is application in different fields of a computer in real time world that means you can take any of the application for example you are talking about the railways write down how railway people will make use of the computers and where exactly these computers will be used in railways next one is characteristics of computers which is very basic in the first unit so i think so i hope so you got a very very basic 
that is related to the computers and what exactly is the computer characteristics introduction to the computer and types of input devices output devices so in next class we will see about the parts of a computer nothing but part basic part of a computer is motherboard right so that we will discuss thank you